Ah, what a beautiful morning, albeit a little bit wet on the roads. So, uh, I thought I'd give you a little insight into my bike and how it's running and maybe there's something that you need to watch out for. Okay, so, so periodically I get emails and questions from different people and a, a recent question or a couple of questions actually from different people uh, about engine lugging and especially on Harley Davidson's. This is essentially what I know about engine lugging is that if you're in a higher gear, low RPMs, your, your engine is going to struggle to accelerate and also you're putting your engine under so much extra pressure and strain and, and the reason is because you're in high gear and low revs when you start adding a lot of throttle at the same time you're dumping a load of fuel into the cylinders that can cause a lot of high heat a lot of detonation sort of ignition or pre-ignition knocking and what can happen is that, that tries to force the piston down but it just it's not efficient enough and so what happens is you kind of get that rumble you kind of get that lag the more you do it the more chance there is of having blow by from the combustion into the crankcase that can affect your oil quality you're putting the whole engine under a lot more strain you can damage the cylinders the piston rings all sorts of stuff so the more you do it the more damage you can cause long term right that's kind of one thing <laughs> now the other thing is this when do you get engine lugging and should you be really concerned about it? okay so let's just talk about a stock bike first of all when you get a harley davidson everybody knows oh yeah loads of torque loads of torque fantastic uh, machines yeah you can just you know ride around in higher gears open up the throttle and it'll pull away and it does so on a brand new bike you're probably lugging the engine and you don't even realize that you're doing it because you're twisting on the throttle and there's so much torque there and it's just pulling you through and you think oh yeah i'm i'm riding uh, i'm riding uh, conservatively i'm riding lazily it's uh, i'm just cruising around everything's great but the problem is you're doing kind of long-term damage that may or may not cost you a lot of money to repair in the future so this is the way i kind of ride i tend to ride in multiples of 12 and that is first gear never lower than 12 miles an hour up to 20 miles an hour let's say then second gear never lower than 24 miles an hour third gear never lower than sort of 30 35 miles an hour fourth gear so it's multiples of 12 so when i'm up to fifth gear fifth gear five times 12 is 60 miles an hour so that's really where I should be at. To be at around about 2,500 RPM at 60 miles an hour, that's where I'm, I'm kind of going to be. If I go faster than that in six gear, about 2,400, 2,500 RPM and above, I'll be at 70 and, and above. So those kinds of speeds and that kind of RPM range, that's where you want to be. If you're kind of in higher gears and lower RPMs, you're lugging the engine. Is Harley-Davidson to blame for this or are we to blame for it? Well, essentially, it's down to us. It's down to the way we ride. Over a period of time, your engine will get looser, as, as we like to say. It, it loosens up. The reality is it's not gaining power, it's not gaining torque, and it's getting looser because it it's actually wearing out. It's the, the bearings are starting to wear, the piston rings are starting to wear, the, the gearbox, everything's starting to wear a little bit more. So it, it feels as if it's running freer, but that'll only last to a certain point in the grand scheme of things. And during this period of time, you're actually losing torque and you're losing power. So when you first bought your bike as a brand new bike you could just power through but with the stock engine i'm talking about in particular as it gets older or a lot higher mileage what happens is that you'll you'll notice that when you roll on the throttle you're getting this vibration this chugging quite a lot more so you'll probably find that you're going to have to step down a gear just to, just to make the bike run a little bit smoother. You may have to increase the revs just a little bit more to achieve the same riding profile. So really, by trying to ride more conservatively, trying to ride with that torque in hand, 
you're creating a situation by wearing out your engine even quicker because it's lugging therefore you kind of lose in power and you're losing torque so then you'll probably induce lugging a lot more especially if you just keep on with that riding style so the best thing to do is just step down a gear and then just ride in a lower gear at higher rpms especially when you want to overtake and especially if you're going up uphill now what about upstaging can that cause lugging well actually yeah it can because if you think about it depending on what tune you've got depending on what cam you've got depending on what exhaust you've got it your engine may run better in a different profile and it may deliver the torque and horsepower at different points so it might mean that you actually have to ride it at higher rpm or even though let's say you've got a torque cam that will enable you to pull through you're still going to have this lugging or this lugging profile at higher gears and lower rpm it'll pull better but essentially what you're doing is you're getting a torque cam just to renew that torque that you've lost as, as it were or you're going to gain it but essentially you're still doing the same thing so what a torque cam will allow you to do will allow you to pull through on a higher gear no doubt because that's how they advertise it they'll say yeah use this and you'll be able to overtake without needing to step down the point is, it allows you to do that if you gradually roll on the throttle, so you're not introducing a load of fuel at the same time, so you're, so you're not creating a high heat situation. Also, with low RPM, your oil pump is running slower. If you've got a liquid-cooled engine, for example, your water pump is running slower. Everything is running slower, so the cooling on the bike is less. You're putting more heat into the engine, you're demanding more from it, you're putting more strain on it, but you're getting less cooling. So if you're gonna put a torque cam in your bike, you still wanna roll on the throttle. If you start snapping on the throttle, you're gonna create lugging when you're in a higher gear. Maybe not as much with a stock cam, but you're still going to cause it. So you're still down the road, let's say another 20, 30,000 miles down the road, you still may have issues with a lugging engine. And it may happen earlier and even may happen at higher RPMs. Okay, so this is my take on it. Let's just say you're riding around and you're in fourth or fifth gear, sixth gear, and you're you're starting to lug at 2,500, 3,000, 3,000 RPM, let's say. The, the, the chances are, now this is with a stock bike, of course. If it's with a stock bike and you're lugging at those RPMs, then you've probably got excessive wear on your engine and you probably are looking at some point of having to look at piston rings, pistons, cylinder walls, that kind of thing. It might be something like that. It wouldn't be surprised if you got bearing issues as well and it probably associated with a high mileage bike now if you've had lots of upstaging on your bike you've gone to stage two stage three stage four whatever you put a big fancy tuner on it and you're lugging at 2600 3000 rpm the problem is is that it could be the tune that is wrong and it could be the way you've got it set up is wrong for that kind of RPM because it really shouldn't be lugging about 2,800, 3,000 RPM. But again, it depends on what kind of cam you've put in there and what kind of tune. Either way, it needs to be addressed. And also you may need to change your riding style according to what equipment you've got on your bike as well. Now, it's so easy to lug an engine, especially a Harley-Davidson, because it's got a lot of torque and you just power through. But I've certainly noticed, and, I, and I've said this uh, loads of times in the past, that my bike is getting looser and looser as it progresses. And the more little modifications that I do to it, it loosens it up a little bit more. Part of it is that it's breathing a lot better, but, but also part of it is that it is wearing out. And I certainly noticed that if I wanted to ride in a higher gear and lower RPMs, let's say if I wanted to cruise, I can't do that now like I used to do. I, In fact, it feels better to be riding in a lower gear, like a, a one gear below, but at slightly higher RPMs. Now, let's face it, you can, you can get these RPMs up to five, six thousand RPM. Most of us ride in the 
two and a half to three thousand three and a half thousand rpm range all the time that's why for most people most people i say that in inverted commas a torque cam is probably the best way way to go if you really want to you know roll it on then yeah you go for a, a power cam and then you're, you're, you're going to be operating the five, six uh, thousand RPM, six and a half thousand uh, RPM, something like that, where you're kind of redlining it. But really, most people are operating that two and a half thousand, three thousand RPM, three and a half thousand. So that's the kind of RPM where you want to be aiming for, especially when you're in the higher gears. When you're in the lower gears, yeah, you can get away with it because there's a lot, the gearing allows you to overcome the inertia of the bike the mass of the bike as soon as you start going up in the gears you're having to put a lot more power in to overcome the inertia that's why it, the higher gears only work when the bike is already in motion so there's less inertia for it to overcome if you know what i mean anyway this is all physics and and stuff like that but essentially that's why your your engine will lug you're in a higher gear, lower RPM, and you can cause damage to it because you're trying to introduce a lot of fuel to make the thing go faster. You're generating a lot of high heat that causes excessive wear on your cylinders, on your piston rings, on your pistons, and also creates excessive wear on your drivetrain in general when actually you should be having a combination of RPM gearing to incrementally go up through the the speed ranges and that in turn will put less strain on your engine and less wear on your engine one other thing one final thing uh, to consider as well this whole thing you might have heard if you're a harley davidson uh rider you've probably heard of the whole blow by thing and uh carbon build up on pistons and everything like that one of the things about lugging is that it does contribute to that excessive combustion blow by and it encourages more carbon buildup on the piston crowns as well so either way whatever you're doing you're putting more stress on the engine but you're also creating a situation where you're putting more carbon build up onto the pistons and also more combustion blow by which is contaminating your oil as well and increasing the crankcase pressures, which is making your engine even more inefficient. That's why you need a crankcase breather to help with that as well. It's, it's a bit of a minefield, but it's just one big balancing act, really. So that, I suppose I've waffled on a lot, really. But as I say, if you've got a lugging engine, the best thing to do is step down a gear, put it in higher RPMs. If you're operating in higher RPMs and you're still lugging the engine, it's an early sign, well, it is a sign of a uh, worn out engine, uh, basically. Or if you've upstaged it, then you've basically got uh, a tune uh, that needs to be addressed. You need to have somebody look at it and maybe get it onto a dyno as well and have a good look at that. Right, anyway, I need to really need to crack on with this, uh, with this glorious morning. Bit overcast, but away you go. Catch you again on another video. Low gears, high revs. Oh, yeah. Catch you again. Ta-da.